Welcome back to another DAX for Power BI tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate a running total using DAX. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, let's just show a basic waterfall chart here to kind of get the idea of what a running total can be used for. Uh, basically it's just a calculation that shows a sum over time and how the, uh, the sum is gradually uh, calculated. Let's go ahead and throw sales amount in the y-axis and order date in the category. Let's get rid of the hierarchy and let's narrow this down to a small date range. Uh, let's put an order date and we'll just make this a really small day range so we can kind of show this this cool waterfall chart visual so this is about a month's worth of data and by default this waterfall chart kind of shows this increase in the sales amount over time until you get to this total sum which is 536,000 so basically this is kind of showing a running total not exactly it's showing basically how the total is increasing let's sh uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a running total using DAX and it adds a lot of flexibility to your model so let's go ahead and get started let's follow uh, the best practice here since we're gonna be creating a measure let's go ahead and uh, create a measure table by entering data let's throw in just some random word there call this measure table go ahead and click enter and we'll create that measure table and we'll create our measure on this table so new measure and we're gonna call this running total so the way we're going to calculate this is using the calculate function so we can encap uh, encapsulate our filter context uh, and we're going to want to calculate let's say the sum of the sales amount because uh, we are going to want to sum that sales amount and we're going to want to filter the table in order to create this running total so using the filter function the filter function takes two parameters a table and a filter expression so you know we're going to use the sales table since that's where our data lives but we're actually going to want to use the all selected uh, function on the sales table all selected takes all of the filters that are currently used in your report uh, so far we only have one filter and that's that date filter down there so we'll be using the filter dates in our calculation and the filter expression that we're going to use is order date is less than or equal to max order date and we'll go ahead and close this off basically what this is saying is take the sum of the sales amount using the currently filtered sales table but only calculate uh, rows that have an order date less than the max of the sales order date in this case max sales order date is basically the order date in which you um, are taking the calculation from so let's look at our example our first date is October 2nd 2012 so when it runs through the calculation it takes October 2nd 2012 as its first date and looks for any rows with order dates less than or equal to that in our case the only date that fits that description is October 2nd 2012 so it takes all the rows that are in October 2nd 2012 and sums the sales amount you get the first day the second day is going to be October 3rd, 2012. So it's going to take all the rows that fit the description of less than or equal to, which is going to be October 2nd and October 3rd. Takes all those rows and sums the sales amount. And it goes through all the way until it gets to November 1st, 2012. So by November 1st, 2012, it's taking every row that has data between October 2nd and uh, November 1st. So that's basically how you get a running total. So click enter. And I think the best way to show this visual is to turn this into a line chart. And we see this kind of hectic data. This is just the data for each day as we throw in running total. We now see how our data, although it's just every day's data, it's actually adding towards a running total. And if you leave your mouse over it, you see the running total is at, uh, on this day, uh, $235,000. And the next day, it increases to $257. And it just shows how the total is actually increasing. And it's a very easy way to visualize that. This is very flexible. Now you can put this in other charts. So going back to the waterfall chart, we still have our sales amount as the y-axis, but we can put the running total as a tooltip. And we throw that in there. Now you hover over it. And you can see that on that day, it went up 26,000, but the running total is now 235,000. And the cool thing is by the end, when you get to the end here, the running total is 536,000, which is the same number as the total column of the basic waterfall chart. Uh, just one more example of how we can change visualizations here. Let's turn this into a bar chart. And this bar chart has 
just the daily sales data, kind of like the line chart showed, but our tooltip is the running total. So it's just very flexible and it's a really important calculation in a lot of cases. Now you can use running total on a lot of different metrics, not just sales. It could honestly be any quantitative field. So that's really cool. I just wanted to show you that really quickly. Um, so I really hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next DAX for Power BI video.